everyone welcome to our channel coffee with coach today we have brought a video on tcs nqt 2020 interview preparation strategy results are out and it's a high time for you to start your interview preparation first congratulations to all the people who have cracked the written round let's start the preparation to crack the interview in this video, I'll be discussing you the interview pattern that you may face in your upcoming interview and also I'll give you many tips and suggestions which will take you one step further for your success. Also in this video, I'll be giving you some tips and strategies for making your resume. Resume plays a very important part and we have seen many of you face a lot of difficulty in making a resume. Making a good resume is quite important and will give you an edge over the other candidates. So let us begin with the rounds that you may face in your interview. So basically there will be two rounds that you may face. First is your technical round, second is your HR round. But many a times you may face a combination of both in a single round. That means your first round may be a combination of technical and HR round and second round will be again only HR round. This happens especially where a lot of candidates have to be recruited. So let me talk in detail about the technical and the HR round. One more important when I'm talking about technical round, I'll be talking about technical round of CSE and the non-CSE department because technical round for CSE and non-CSE people will be quite different. So it is quite important to understand the difference between the technical round of a CSE student and a non-CSE student. So let me take you for First to the technical round of a CSC student. So technical round. First and foremost thing what an interviewer expect from you during a technical round. In technical round basically the interview will expect you to have a basic knowledge so that you can be eligible in an IT company. So let me take you in detail about the technical round of a CSC student. For technical round for CSC student first and foremost thing is resume. This is very important and I'll talk in detail how to make a resume in later part of the video. So second is basic question from concept like C oops java data structure shorting dbms computer networks or os these are the part which is quite important for any cac student to know so you should be well prepared with this topic third important thing that you may face in your interview is finally a project or the industrial internship or training you have undergone so please try to prepare properly some question related to your final year projects your internship or from your industrial training and at last comes the programs yes guys in technical rounds also the interviewer may ask you to write some programs they may say to write on particular topic or they may tell you to explain the program or some syntax properly so you should have a proper knowledge on coding but one good thing that you should know is in tcs technical round you may face repetitive program i mean to say they ask you from specific set of programs only so our team has prepared a well structured and a well researched list of programs which you will be getting in your technical round so if you are going to sit for the technical round of tcs then you should surely go through those programs i will provide you the link to get those set of programs so please check the description it is really very helpful for your tcs technical round if you have those programs with you, if you have practiced that programs, you will surely get an edge over all the thousand of candidates that will sit for the interview. So moving on to the technical round for non csc student. And one important thing let me tell you, if you are facing any problem in preparation of interview question for CE Java, you should go to our website. We have provided list of interview question for C, for Java and we are keep on uploading even for the non csc background. 
so if anyone have a problem like from electrical electronics that what core subject question we should prepare then you should of course go through those part from our website we keep on updating job notification of the off campusing that you may apply for and interview questions and many other materials so do visit www.coffee with coach.com now moving on to the section for technical round for non cse here again i have told resume i'll be discussing in detail about the resume part in the later part of the video because resume itself is a very important topic for the discussion second come basic question as a student of non cse background the interviewer won't have a high expectation on the question from cse or from the coding concept so prepare the basic question from a known language if you are sitting for an it company it is well expected from you that you have a basic knowledge of any one programming language whether it's c whether it's java whether it's python it does not matter whichever language you are comfortable do prepare basic question of that language for any kind of help you can visit our website we have uploaded all type of questions there next come the oops concept oops is a very easy concept you should go through some of the question from the oops concept as well third very important for a non cse background student is core subjects guys don't think that you are going to sit for an it company so you need only knowledge only about it subjects in actual there will be lot more question that you may face from your core subject so if you are from electrical try to prepare questions from electrical as well you should be well prepared with your core subject knowledge next come your final year project as i have mentioned before for cse you should be prepared with your final year project it is a common experience that the student have faced especially from a non cse background that they have faced lot more question from their industrial training and final year projects so be prepared on those topics try to prepare about the concept on which you have done your final year project or if you have visited to any industry try to know at least some basic questions about it next come easy program if you are from non cse background then interview does not expect you to know very tough or a difficult programs but at least you should be able to answer and solve easy program they may tell you to write the programs on pen and papers guys if you have if you are from non cse or cse you can go through the list of program that we have made it is a step by step explanation of each repeated program which will surely give you an edge over other candidates in those course you will be understanding why we are using hash why we are using include why what is the reason of using printf scanf all the directive all the operators everything has been explained in detail but in a very brief way so that it does not consume your more time but also give you a clear understanding of program so if you think you are weak in programming you should go through it because after going through the course we give you a guarantee that you will understand how to write a code and even if you are good at coding you should go through it so that you understand bit by bit the concept of many small things by knowing those you will surely get an edge over other candidates so with this let me go to the hr round in the hr round they will just assess your communication skill communication skill is one of the most important quality that a recruiter seeks in a candidate who appears in an interview so your hr round is basically seeking your communication we will make another video on entire hr round and some question of the hr round we'll try to discuss some of the most important and most frequent hr question that you may face in an interview as As promised let me give you first tips about resume and then i'll give you tips about the entire interview thing so first and foremost about your resume is the length of fresher resume should not be more than 2 pages also it must cover all the relevant information now second point is font size guys these are very important points that i'm 
telling you please try to note it down write it on somewhere and make your resume according to it the ideal font size of resume heading should be between 12 to 14 Arial and bold. The ideal font size of the rest of the resume should be Arial of size 10. There should not be any typographical, grammatical or spelling mistake in the resume guys. Do not include any fake information in the resume. You must be able to justify the information included in the same. Because resume is a very important thing. Whatever you are going to write in your resume, they may ask you question from that. So be very careful. One very important thing to note, the email ID. The email ID mentioned in the resume should not be inappropriate or controversial. For example, if your name is Aditya, it should not be like cool dude Aditya at the red gmail.com or it should not be like abcdefg at the red gmail.com. So please try to make your email ID look professional. It should reflect your professionalism. Therefore, create a separate professional email ID that can be used for interview or other business purpose. Do not include irrelevant information in your CVs like gender, age, marital status, nationality, health, weight, height, religion, city, your photograph, your mother's name or your father's name. This kind of information is very irrelevant. I have seen many of you in your resume, you may mention your mother's father. This kind of information is quite not important. A recruiter only requires a candidate email ID and contact number to contact him or her. They may get the other detail at the later stage if required after a candidate joins a company. So try to be very specific with your resume. As promised, I'll give you some interview tips. So let me give you some very important interview tips. Please keep this in mind. It will be very, very, very important for you. Before entering the interview hall, you must gain an insight into the company's profile and its core competencies. The website of the company and pre-recruitment talks are good source of company's profile information. You must prepare the basic concepts very well to clear an interview. Do not try to be the jack of all trades. Instead, prepare two to three subjects very well. Prepare the projects undertaken by you during the summer training or industry training. This is a very uh, common mistake uh, that you all do. If you do not know any answer, just stay calm. It's not the end of the world. In this situation, you may politely convey that I am willing to learn but do not have any idea about this topic. So, I need to brush up my knowledge in this area. It is perfectly alright guys if you are not able to give answer to few questions. The recruiter does not expect a candidate to answer all the questions. But all they look for is the candidate's ability to learn attitude and responsiveness to the difficult situation. Any interviewer seeks the quality like leadership, team player, proactiveness, etc. Try to reflect this quality in your answer and your resume. So these are the tips and tricks that I have shared with you. We are making more videos on specifically targeting the HR round. So do not forget to subscribe our channel and connect with us through our WhatsApp. You can get the link of our website in the description. Go to our website and fill up the form. It will connect you with us and you will get hundreds of people like you preparing and fighting to get a seat in their own dream company. So let's end my video here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you have liked the video. It really motivates us to make such videos more. Do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. And do not forget if you are not connected with us in our WhatsApp, then do go to our website and fill up the form to get the link and connect with us. All the very best for you. Bye-bye.